Hi there and welcome to my channel. I recently saw that Born Pretty had some new pigments out and when I saw them I was like I've got to get me some of these and in this video I'm going to be swatching and reviewing them and you'll find all the product information in the description box below. Before I get started don't forget to hit that like button as it really does help me out. So these are the new Peacock Holographic Carmelian pigments and they are stunning. They are available in eight colours and I chose four of them that I liked and purchased them. So we have LG06, LG08, LG09 and LG10. And you can get them in 0.2 grams, 0.5 gram, and that's what these ones are, and one gram pots. And they each have these small applicators, but I'll be using my larger ones. I just prefer these as they're longer. I have four black cured gel pop sticks, and these also have a layer of no white top coat, which has been half cured for 30 seconds and I've added the numbers to each of them just for reference. I'll also be using the Born Pretty No White Top Coat at the end to finish them and I also have my silicone tool and my dusting brush. Now I've opened them all, this is LG06. I've noticed that they're not overly pretty pigments. They're not like the top grey carmelian pigments to look at. The lid shows them better though. I'm just going to apply the pigment over the top of the cured no wipe top coat. Now what I found with these is that using more pigment is better to get the hollow to come out but you can really see the carmelian colours coming out. With this one you've got the purple, teal and pink coming through. Once I've added the pigment I'm going to use my silicone tool and I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit of the pigment and I'm just gonna buff this all over the pop stick. I found that this really does help the pigment and then I'll just dust away any of the excess and just how pretty is this? I've actually got some better video at the end that really does show the hollows off. So keep watching until the end. LG08. You'll want to make sure that your gel polish layers are as perfect as you can get them as these pigments are going to pick up every lump and bump in your nails. But I'm I'm really itching to get these on my nails because they're so pretty. On to LG09 and the Carmelian effect from this one is green, blue and purple. My camera really is having some focusing issues on these. It's just getting really confused. And finally LG10. The Carmelian effect from this one is a red, gold and greens. This will be amazing for autumnal or Christmas manis. And as you can see, these are so easy to use. And with effects like these, they're gonna be some show-stopping nails. The videos at the end really do show the hollow. I was really unsure whether you'd be able to see it well enough or not. And I don't think it really comes across very well. Top coat time. I'm just going to apply one layer of top coat, but what I've seen lots of people do with top coats is apply one layer and cure for 30 seconds and then apply another layer and do a full cure. This gives the top coat something to stick to. It's also meant to help chipping too, which unfortunately happens a lot with these types of pigments. So I'm just going to cure this layer for 60 seconds. They're now fully cured and finished. The top coat has really made them quite glossy. Earlier on in the video, I said about that more pigment was better. When I first had a play with these, I really couldn't get the hollow to come out very much. But when I added more pigment, it really did come out better. And number eight really does show this. So 
The one with the number on is the one that I've just done and the other one was my first try and hopefully you can see the difference between the two. All of my swatch pictures will be up soon on my Instagram and you'll be able to see all of my first tries and the ones I've just done. I'm now going to show you some better video of these pigments so you can really see the hollow and carmelian effects together and you can really see the difference between my first tries and the ones I've just done. It's definitely best in my opinion to add more pigment but just how amazing do these all look. I'm definitely looking into a couple more of these because I think they're just stunning. So I hope you've enjoyed my swatch and review on these amazing Peacock Holographic Carmelian pigments from Born Pretty. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then I would love it if you could. And also don't forget to come over and follow me on Instagram at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.